I thought it'd be a lot of fun to use masking fluid to do some lightning. So that's what we're going to do in this project. So I have my six by four and a half inch Yupo card taped down. I'm going to set my picture on top. A little tape in the corners of both the reference photo and the Yupo paper. And I'm using carbon paper. So it has a side with carbon and a side with that. I'm going to set that underneath there. And this time with the pen, I am just going to outline where the lightning is. You really don't need to trace this if you want to be creative and do your own lightning, that'd be fine. We don't have to be as elaborate as this is, but I think it looks really neat. I like to trace with a different colored pen so I know where I've colored and where I haven't or where I've traced and where I haven't. When you're tracing, it gives you a, a chance to really look closely at your image. Like I am noticing that this lightning has, it's not smooth, it's real jerky. I hear my bulldog talking a lot in the background for this one too. Also this area here where it's light, I want to mask that too because I want to keep that white. So here I'm outlining the outline of the outside of the white and then I'm coming back where my line is just going to be the lightning strike. I like to print in black and white because it's cheaper than printing on color paper. But it also gives me a good feel of where it's dark and light. I'm going to go ahead and outline this mountain range here. That gives you another feel. But kind of what's happening is we've got dark on this side, dark up here, dark on the bottom, but kind of lighter in this area. Should mask this one. Oops. So when I lift it up, I saw that there is a part that doesn't have a line in it, but that is how it is in the picture. Because that's where the cloud break is. So that's okay. 